Dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. My name is Manoj Simwal and I am working as an assistant professor at University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Punjab University, Chandigarh. I would be taking the module on tequila and mescal under the paper Food and Beverage Service. After completing this module, the students will be able to define tequila, identify the areas where tequila is produced, explain the production method of tequila, explain the types of tequila, identify the different categories of tequila. They will be able to explain the conventional style of drinking tequila and it will also help them to differentiate between tequila and Mexico. Dear students, now let's discuss tequila. Tequila is a national liquor of Mexico. The spirit is distilled from the fermented juice of blue agave or agave tequila tequilana weber in the area neighboring the tequila city which lies 65 km northwest of Guadalajara, the biggest city in the state of Jalisco in Mexico. Sierra Madre of Jalisco is the largest producer of tequila because of its volcanic rich soil principally tequila can only be produced from 100% agave but the Mexican law allows distillers of tequila to mix it with other sugar for example corn sugar with agave to a limit of 49% during the fermentation process that means for a drink to be called as tequila it must have a distillate not less than 51% from agave tequilana Weber. Most tequila are bottled at 37 to 40% alcohol by volume. Now we will discuss a little about the plant agave tequilana. Agave tequilana generally recognized as blue agave. It is an agave plant which is very famous for its economic contribution to the Mexico a basic ingredient used in the production of the well-known spirit called tequila. The high concentration of sugar, mainly fructose in the heart of the fruit called pina, is found appropriate for the production of an alcoholic beverage. It is found in abundance at the places like Jalisco and Nayarit in Mexico. It is cultivated at the height of 5000 feet or more. The plant prefers a soil which is sandy and rich. The plant grows to a height of about 7 feet having spiky and fleshy leaves. The stem of the plant used for industrial purpose is removed after it reaches the age of 1 year. It permits the fruit to grow huge. New plants can be raised by planting the stems into the soil. Now let's move to another section which is making of tequila. Production of tequila is regulated by the Mexican government. Regular checks are carried out in order to make sure that the distillers follow all the steps and norms of producing tequila set by the government of Mexico. Now moving forwards to the process. Now the first step is when the plant of uh, agave tequilana is 8 to 10 years old, it is considered ready for the production of tequila. It is then manually harvested soon after it reaches the desired age. If the plant is plugged early, there would not be sufficient sugar in it for the production. If plugged too late, the sugar will be consumed by the plant itself. The fruit of the agave resembles to pineapple. It has got the spiky leaves which are pulled out in order to get the heart of the fruit which is called as pina. The weight of the fruit is approximately 35 to 70 kg. The pinas when ready are either roasted in hornos for 36 hours which is a kind of a stone oven or a steam cooked for 12 hours in an autoclave. Now a little information about hornos. Hornos are very traditional stone oven derived from the word hornos which means furnace were introduced to Mexico by Spanish. It is used in Mexico for cooking pinas for the production of tequila. Whereas 
Autoclave is a kind of pressure cooker used for steam cooking the fruits of agave for the making of tequila. The cooked pinas are then sliced and squeezed for the juice in a traditional wheel called tahuna, a circular pit made up of stone traditionally rotated by the help of a horse for crushing the fruits. But nowadays, the mechanically rotated with the help of an electric motor. The extracted juice from the agave fruit is known as agua mill. It is collected in a holding tank from where it is further transferred to fermentation tank where the juice collected in the fermentation tank is now ready for the fermentation process to take place. Now yeast is added to the juice for inducing fermentation. The two types of yeast are used in tequila production. Commercial yeast also known as the brewer's yeast and the natural yeast present in the atmosphere. The natural yeast is used more often as it is considered enough to convert all the sugar present in the juice to ethanol. The temperature is always controlled in order to provide the yeast the optimum conditions for performing the process. The fermentation process makes a wash of 5 to 7 percent alcohol. Now in the next step the wash or the fermented liquid is then subjected to distillation process which is carried out in traditional pot still twice and many times thrice to achieve the better quality. The first distillation produces a very weak spirit of about 20 percent alcohol by volume which is also known as ordinario. In tequila production the ordinario is subjected to the second distillation which produces a tequila of high alcoholic strength of about 80 proof which is further brought down at 40 percent alcohol by volume. Now in the next step there are two basic types of tequila the silver tequila or reposado or golden tequila or anejo. For making silver tequila it is aged in white oak barrels for a period of two months and a maximum of one year. They can also be aged in stainless steel vats so that they don't get the color from the wood for anejo or the aged one. It has to be aged in the oak barrels most of which are used for aging Jack Daniels whiskey. Some producers also age them in new barrels but cost factor also gets increased. For making golden tequila it has to be aged for a minimum of three years. Now in the next step aged tequila is adjusted to 40 percent alcohol by volume before bottling. Now let's discuss the types of tequila. There are two types of tequila. The first type is mixto or we can say mixed tequila. According to the Mexican law tequila which is produced from the alcoholic wash which contains 51 percent of agave tequilana and the 49 percent of other sugars mixed in it are called mixto. And the second type of tequila is 100 percent agave. The spirit for being called as 100 percent agave should contain 100 percent concentrate from the agave tequilana Weber. Now let's discuss the different categories of tequila. The first category is Blanco, Silver or White tequila. The Blanco type of tequila is a plain spirit which can be fully 100 percent agave or mixture. The tequila of this type are not aged more than 60 days in reservoirs made up of stainless steel which decreases the harshness in the spirit. In case the Blanco tequila is not aged they give the unprocessed or rawest taste of agave and have a natural flavor of basic earth or we can say earthy flavor which is very particular to this kind of tequila. Blanco tequila has a great flavor and provides a distinct specialty to the drink. The Blanco tequila makes an excellent base for cocktails and are quite smooth. They can be taken in the form of shots. Now we move on to the next category which is Zoven or Young. Zoven is an example of a mixture tequila 
that means they are not 100% agav it is mixed and young tequila this is a very popular among the drinkers world over this type of tequila is not aged and they are colored and given the taste of caramel oak and other types of additives now the other kind of uh, tequila is reposado or reposado means aged or rested they are left in wood cask for a time not less than 2 months to 1 year the tequila gets mellowed during the aging period and attains more woody flavor and the light straw color the reposados are aged in the same cask which are used for the maturation of bourbon whiskey maturation in bourbon cask adds to the flavor and the quality of tequila a little dearer than the blanco reposados form exceptional foundation for many renowned cocktails the next type of tequila is anijo tequila anijo or it can be called old tequila these are also aged in french oak or the barrels used for aging bourbon whiskey for a minimum time of 1 year for making it a dark and a fu very full bodied spirit the excellent anijo are the ones which are matured between 18 months to 3 years anijo are soft and smooth with a good flavor of agave and have oaky caramel and butterscotch feel as taste notes the best way to have anijo is to have straight and feel the aroma from the snifter glass now the next category is extra anijo the latest trends in the tequila market these days have led to the production of a different style of tequila which is named as extra anijo and may also be called as my anijo this tequila is matured in the oak cask for about 3 years which increases the flavor and quality of the beverage they are made for getting the pleasure from having it straight sipping the price of this tequila is also on the expensive side than others the last category is oro or that means gold this tequila is produced from the blending of all the above discussed categories of tequila for example plata with reposado or anizo now we'll discuss the regulations which governs the production of tequila and mezcal in mexico they are known as norma oficial mexicana de calidad On 31st of March 1978 the government of Mexico created the guidelines for setting the standards for the production of tequila and is known as Norma Oficial Mexicana de Calidad or uh, NOM norm the identifier of norm on the tequila bottle ensures that the particular bottle is made according to the set guidelines by the government of Mexico The guidelines make sure that the handling of agave plant yield the distillation process the addition bottling and labeling are in accordance with the set guiding principles of norm it is mandatory for every distiller to get the norm label on their produce the norm label declare the distillery number given to the distiller by the government and whether it is 100% agave or a mixto the alcoholic strength and the category of tequila on its label now let's learn about the conventional style of tequila drinking the tequila is commonly served ice cold the long established way of having tequila is to have it with salt and lemon the salt is held at the mesh of the hand right in the midst of the forefinger and thumb a piece of lemon the salt is held at the mesh of the hand right in the midst of the forefinger and thumb a piece of lemon held through the same fingers a shot glass filled with tequila kept in the other hand now first salt is licked and soon after tequila filled shot glass is tossed down the throat at one shot followed followed by biting the piece of lemon The entire process should happen in a little span of time for say only some seconds. The role of salt is to cut down the harshness of the alcohol which can be felt as a burning sensation on throat. The role of lemon is to increase the flavor 
it is believed that superior tequilas do not have burning sensation on throat and it can best be taken straight. Now some popular brands of tequila. The first one is Joe Cabo, Sousa, Cabo Wabo, Partida, Chinaco, Patron, Grand Centenario. These are some brands of tequila. Dear students, now let's move to the other part of the module which is about mezcal. Mezcal is produced from a permitted species of agave plant in Mexico. About 30 variety of agave are identified and authorized by Mexican government for the production of mezcal. The name mezcal is derived from a Mexican word mezcali which means an agave cooked in oven. Agave was considered very holy plant in pre-Spanish Mexico and was used in religious practices. The spirit is produced in Oaxaca, Durango, Guanajuato, San Luis Potos and Zacatas. The most number of mezcal distillers are located in Oaxaca. Though not as popular as tequila, Mex mezcal today is sold overseas to other countries like Japan and USA. It has a very strong smoky flavor and it is distilled from the heart of the agave fruit in the same way as it was distilled 200 years ago. Now we'll move to the next section that is the rules governing mezcal. Near the beginning of 1990, the mezcal producers in Mexico sought for the protection of the spirit called mezcal and also seek international acknowledgement for the same because precise international title grants a product a gauze of protection and status. This facilitates a product to do well commercially. The mezcal was granted its appellation of origin in the year 1994. In Mexico, it is regulated under NOM, Norma Official Mexicana, the regulatory committee for mezcal quality in Mexico. The guidelines become law in 2003 and official recognition begins in 2005. Now let's discuss the production method of mezcal. The production houses where mezcal is produced are known as fabricas. They all use their distinct style of production passed over to them by their ancestors as some of them still use the same technique which was being used 200 years ago. The procedure for the making of mezcal begins with the harvesting of the plant. The leaves and roots are removed by cutting in order to get the fruit called pina. The pinas are further roasted in a traditional earthen oven over the pits of hot rocks which gives mezcal its powerful and unique smoky bouquet. The roasted fruits are mashed by crushing them in a traditional stone wheel called tahona which was also used for tequila. It is, a rota it is rotated with the help of a mule. The mash is diluted with the water and the yeast is added to induce the fermentation process. During the fermentation process, yeast converts the sugar into the liquid. During the fermentation process, yeast converts the sugar into ethanol. Now the liquid is called alcoholic wash. The wash is further subjected to distillation process in a copper still. Mescal is distilled twice in copper or clay still to obtain the desired flavor. The alcoholic strength of the first distillate, which is also known as panta, comes at around 37.5% alcoholic by volume. To increase the strength, the liquid is sent for second distillation. Some mescal are not aged and are identified as zovin. The color of this type is white. Golden mescal or dorado, as it is called in Mexico, is aged less and sometimes coloring is added to impart that golden color. The reposado or aged mescal is kept in oak barrels for about 2 to 9 months. Anijo is aged in wood for a minimum of 12 months and up to 4 years in select brands. Mescals are very diverse in taste which is because it depends on the type of agave it is used the different variety of flavorings like fruits, herbs and spices added during the production and the distillation process employed. Not all the mescal producers put worm which is a larva of a moth which resides in the agave plant but some mescal 
have the worm inside the bottle. There are different narrative for using the worm in the bottle. Some declare it as a marketing gimmick, whereas some believe that it improves the taste and make it unique and distinct in flavor. But if the worm has to be added, then it is handpicked and added into the maxi mescal during the bottling. Now we will learn about the conventional way of drinking mescal. The conventional style of enjoying the strong smoky flavor of mescal is to have it straight without the addition of any liquid. It is also not used in making of cocktails and served with the slice of orange or lemon, ground chili pepper and a traditional salt called sal de gusano which means warm salt in Mexico. Now let's learn about few popular mezcal brands. Miguel de la Mezcal, Gusano Rosa Mezcal, Monte Alban, Mezcal Vago are some popular brands of mezcal found in Mexico. Now again the most important question which comes to mind is how tequila is different from mezcal. So let's discuss. Tequila is produced in the protected areas of the state of Jalisco and in small parts of four states. It can only be produced from the blue agave which is agave tequilana out of 30 varieties of agave identified and authorized by the Mexican government for producing tequila. Mezcal can be produced from all the 30 varieties of agave even with blue agave. So basically tequila is a kind of mezcal. It is also protected by the regulations that is NOM Norma Official Mexicana. It is mostly distilled in the state of Oaxaco. During the production of tequila, agave fruit is baked in a stone oven called hornos, whereas mezcal employs traditional baking and the fruits can also be grilled. If they can be grilled over the stone pit. Tequila does not contain any worm in the bottle, whereas mezcal, some of the mezcal bottles contain the worm. Students will discuss a brief information about the distillers of some popular brands of tequila. The first one is Joe Carbo, founded by Joe Antonio de Carbo y Valdez in the year 1758. Joe Carbo is now 250 years old. He was the first person given the writ by King Ferdinand VI of Spain for cultivation of blue agave for tequila production. Today, run by the Beckman family of Mexico, a best-selling tequila with 35.1% of market share worldwide. Now, we'll discuss the another famous popular brand that is Sousa Tequila. The company formed by Don Senobio Sousa in the year 1873 in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. A person along with his American wife are credited for converting the tequila production from a cottage industry into a commercial agro-based industry and also to the popularity of tequila in United States of America. The brand is one of the most renowned producers of tequila today having won many spirit competitions world over. Now let's learn about the service procedure of tequila. Tequila is not only fitting for shots but also forms an exceptional base for some world celebrated classical cocktails like Tequila Sunrise, Margarita, the Paloma, and the Tequila Sar. Tequila is generally served in a slender shot glass called Caballito, which means little horse in Spanish. Tequila, when drunk straight, it is served in a snifter or the old-fashioned glass. The best way to drink tequila is to have it neat to relish the distinct taste and bouquet. It is very important for the beverage server to check with the guest preference how he or she would like to have their tequila. The order must be written legibly on a bar order ticket and always repeated to guest for confirmation and served from the right hand side of the guest. Now dear students, let's sum up what all we learned so far about tequila and mezcal. Tequila and mezcal both are drinks distilled in pot still in government certified areas in Mexico. The state of Jalisco is known for production of tequila and Oaxaca for producing mezcal. 
A good quality tequila is made from 100% distillate of agave tequilana vapor. Tequila is more popular all over the world as compared to mezcal. Tequila is produced from only one variety of agave that is blue agave while mezcal can be produced from any one or a combination of all the 30 approved species of tequila. That's all we have for today. Thank you and have a nice day.